Hey, New Horizon, it's Pastor Mark. Happy Monday to you, Monday, November 6th, and I hope you're having a great day and in for a good week. So yesterday, we had a great time at church, and I just wanted to update you on some things here. First of all, this coming Saturday, November 11th, is Audience of One at the Virginia Theater, 7 p.m., and I beg you to be there with you and your family. These are Christ followers from all over our community, and we're going to gather together, be led in prayer, be led in, in, in worship over our city and asking God to move in power. Do you know that we've had a hand in this? We've been praying for revival for a year and a half. I believe this is part of God's response to that. I'm on the team of pastors that has helped promote this and bring this to be. We've got people on our prayer team who are a part of the citywide prayer team that have been praying over this thing. So my word, let's jump in, get all our oars in the prayer water there and pull and see what God just might do. You know, yesterday we had our inaugural run of starting point is down the children's hallway in a brand new room on the left called the Alpha Room. And we've created a homey space. It's like your living room. The lighting's sweet. It's just awesome and very, very comfy. And we're going to be doing Alpha groups in there. And we'll have the landing, which is Celebrate Recovery's teen program in there. And then the first Sunday of every month is Starting Point, a great place to meet newbies. It was standing room only in there. I'm telling you. And we just chatted and, and hit it off so well with people and shared about New Horizon Church. And I was just excited about the whole thing. Wonderful refreshments. And, and I think we left feeling like this is who we are. We love brand new people. We love to help people walk in their walk with Jesus and be a part of growing in Christ together. So would you please be a part of Starting Point when you bring a new person, when you meet someone in the hallway that's brand new. First Sundays of every month, it's Starting Point. And then here's another one for you. This is Membership Month along with Next Month. November November, December, membership months. Now, what does that mean? Well, since disaffiliation from the United Methodist Church, none of us are members at New Horizon Church. We're a global Methodist church, and we have not yet placed our official membership at New Horizon. So throughout the month of November, we're going to be talking about the marks of membership at New Horizon, uh, expectations, and, and what God has in store for us, what the global Methodist church has in store for us. And then in December, we're going to be receiving members all all, uh, all month long. We'll tell you more and more about that. But the point was yesterday, the mark of membership is that we are in weekly worship, that we recognize that we're a part of the team. And we uh, we play on this team. We mean business. We make disciples who make disciples who make disciples. And for us to commit ourselves to be there every week so we can be a part of that team is important. It encourages me. It encourages others when you're there consistently. Friends, it's like a movie. A movie is going to run whether we're there or not. But New Horizon Church is very different from that. Our worship services, our ministry of making disciples is not what it could be if we're not there. We're all important players on that team. And speaking of that, my, yeah, my message yesterday, I want you to listen to the audio of it. I'll leave the link below and listen to that thing, double speed, you know, so you can get through it pretty quickly while you're driving or whatever that might be. But the question that I asked in Disciple Shift was, what is my position on the disciple-making team? And the answer is, my position is to be who God made me be. Wow. What does that mean? Well, we all have personalities, likes and dislikes, and extroverts and introverts and sense of humor and all that kind of stuff. But a little bit different from that is our temperament. It's the way we view the world and the way we respond to others and such. And I think Ephesians 4 outlines some, some principal temperaments that exist to greater or lesser extents in every one of us. That's why I want you to listen to the podcast, because I think you'll hear about yourself. You'll say, well, I know people like that. And maybe I'm that person. And it's when we get a hold of who God made us be that we're far more comfortable in stepping into conversations about our faith. I mean, we're unique and we have our own way of communicating and relating and, and sharing our stories of God. So I want us to be encouraged and I want us to all play the, the position that God has placed us in on our disciple-making team. I hope you'll talk about that in this week's group. I hope you'll say, you know, uh, I feel like maybe there's some of this in me. And when you, when you find kindred spirits, you get to, you get to kind of share on how that works and how you, how you approach this, um, this faith sharing thing with others. And the one option we don't have is just to sit on the sidelines. Jesus calls us all to make disciples who make disciples who make disciples who make disciples. 
That's why we're in this biz, gang. It's why we're doing Audience of One. It's why we do all the things that we do is because we're eager to love God and love others and make disciples. That's what I've got for you today. I want you to have a wonderful week. Be praying for our folk that are that are struggling, some sickness, some things going on in our church. And so let's stand together. There's strength in our numbers, friends. I look forward to seeing you on Saturday at Audience of One and Sunday in worship. God bless you all. Bye-bye.